Hi guys, welcome back. We're going to make a lovely lotus flower blooming on this Santorini stone. If you want to find out where I got the stones to paint on, uh, there will be a link in the description um, and you can purchase some yourself. Um, so today I'm just using a little stone and because it's so bright white, um, get an eraser ready. This stuff erases really easily. I'm going to start by drawing with a pencil a teardrop. Then we're going to do another teardrop to the side and you're going to watch me mess up the right teardrop a couple of times. But we can always erase it. This stuff erases really well. Um, I had a real hard time with this one. And there we go again. <laughs> Let's just have a little chuckle at Rachel's expense. Um, now I'm going to add in little, little tiny ones there. And three on the bottom. And don't worry, don't stress. Draw this on paper a couple of times until you're ready to put it on the stone. And you don't have to use this kind of stone either. You don't even have to use a stone. You could put it on a piece of paper. Now I'm going to outline the entire lotus with black paint first. And the link for my paintbrush will be in the description as well as everything else you're going to need to know. So don't forget to check the description. Uh, a lot of people ask me, where, where do I find out where you get this brush? Where can I find this where do I buy your rocks? Like, check the description. Everything is in there. And if it's not in there, you can come after me and I will put it in there. <laughs> now, I am outlining everything, but then I'm going to fill it all in and then uh, let the black paint dry. So I just wanted to get the outline of this done first to get that out of the way. And this type of stone is uh, from Greece and it is so smooth and it doesn't like, there's no bumps, there's no rivets, divots, there's no, uh, like the, the paint doesn't bleed off to somewhere else. It like really is a gorgeous stone to paint on. So I highly recommend trying this out. I will be purchasing them again. <laughs> Now I'm just filling it all in. You see all my pencil lines are disappearing. Um, if there's any extra pencil anywhere, it does easily erase, like I said. It, you wouldn't even know. I've made so many mistakes um, on a couple of these stones already, but you don't see like any smudges from the pencil at all once you erase it. So it's fabulous to work on. There we go. It's uh, going to take a minute or two to dry, but I'm also going to add with a dotting tool, uh, a nail dotting tool. You can use the end of a paintbrush or uh, pencils or toothpicks. I'm just putting a couple of dots, four dots on the, on the middle teardrop that we started with, two on the second ones and then one on the third ones. And I'm not going to put any down at the bottom. I'm actually going to attach some flat back Swarovski crystals on those dots at the very end, and you will see those. I will leave a link in the description um, for where you can find those as well. Here in Canada, I shop a lot on Amazon because where I'm living currently for my husband's job, there's not a whole lot of shopping going on. Um, but I do shop online. So everything that I get is mostly from online stores, but you can definitely search other places, uh, craft stores, Michaels, all those places that sell all this fun artsy stuff. Now I'm going around and outlining those teardrops again, just like I did with the pencil with rose gold. And this stuff is beautiful. It goes on really smooth and it leaves like a very high shine metallic and I fell in love with it the first time I used it. So I definitely recommend Folk Art Rose Gold. Now we will be dotting this lotus today so if you're not a fan of dotting or if you're not comfortable with it yet, um, 
you can just color this in, just paint it in. Um, you don't have to dot it. I brought you this far. You can do with it what you'd like from here on out. <laughs> um, and you also don't have to choose the same colors or the same shape that I used. Uh, there's a lot of different examples of lotus flowers on the internet. Um, but uh, I was comfortable with this one and it was pretty simple. So I wanted to make this as easy as possible for everyone to try. I'm going to be using a new paint that I just purchased uh, from Martha Stewart. It's a neon pink because um, uh, sometimes my my pinks just they aren't um, they aren't bright enough for me. So I wanted to to try out some neon. Now I'm starting with a magenta, and I'm just doing all of the bottoms. So the base of the lotus flower petals are all going to be darker. So start from all the bottoms, like the inner part of the petal. And I've explained it really well in my dotted four leaf clover video. If you take a look on my channel, um, how to do the blending of the dots between different colors. A best way for me to describe it is to bubble it up. Don't don't have like a straight line. Bubble them up. Bubble a couple up. Make sure there's random dots everywhere like I'm doing here. You don't want it to be a straight a line, straight line across and then add another color on top of that because they don't mingle in well together. So when we go in with the next color, I'm going to blend some of those dots in and uh, you'll see what I mean so that it looks like a nice ombre effect. So I'm going into the base of all of the petals and I'm just going up partial, partial way um, so that I can still make room to add all the other shades of the pink for the lotus flower. Now the lotus flower has a really cool meaning. Um, that's why I like making lotus flowers. It means that even though this flower grows in mud and swampy areas, it grows up through the mud and it rises out and blooms into this beautiful flower and it radiates. And that's how I feel everyone should should be. They should just bloom up out of the darkness, out of the mud, and just bloom the way you're supposed to. And so that's why I like lotus flowers so much. I just love them. They're so beautiful. And all in the summertime, I take so many pictures of them. Oh, they're just beautiful. So I'm sharing it with you today. And of course, my love of dots and gold and these new stones that I purchased. Um, I thought it would be nice to share my lotus with you on that too. Uh, wait till you see it resin. It's going to be beautiful. So I'm mingling in. I just added a little bit of neon pink to my magenta. So I'm just lightening the same color that I already started with, with a little bit of neon pink. And I'm going to keep lightening it all the way to the top. And then I'm going to add a little bit of white to lighten it even more. And the very tips of the flower petals are going to have like the lightest pink on the whole flower. You'll understand. <laughs> so now I've got a couple of shades of magenta. I keep adding more neon pink, more neon, more neon. This is how I do all of my ombre effect. I always just add white or uh, say I've started with dark green. I keep adding a light green to it uh, and then it just changes. It gradually changes uh, the color and I, I love doing that. It's a lot of fun. So this is going to be the second last color and then it's gonna I'm gonna add white. And then all of the tips will have a nice light tip. This is already looking really beautiful. I love lotus flowers. Let me know if you are a fan of the lotus. I do eventually want to get a lotus flower tattoo. I don't have one yet. Working on it. Oh, I love it. Now all these dots are mingling in together and they've changed from one color to the next. And now 
I'm going to outline all of that rose gold. And this really changes the effect as well. You can see it change. It, it's almost like there's a bit of shading and uh, it just makes this lotus flower pop right off the rock, especially with this white background. And you can see the sparkling in this stone. It's just gorgeous. Like irresistible, I'm telling you. So I finished outlining it all. And um, I'm going to put my signature on it. Like y'all should do as well. Don't forget to sign your artwork. It is yours to shine and be proud of. I used to not sign my artwork and I used to have people contacting me and they'd be like, you painted for me, but I didn't see your name on the back. Can I bring it back to you and you can sign it for me? <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't think I needed to. It's not a canvas. Do I, do I have to sign a rock? But I've changed my mind about that completely and I don't care what kind of canvas you're painting on, whether it's a stone or a piece of wood you sign that you make it yours and be proud now wait till you see it in a second it's going to be gleaming I've resined it and my resin tutorial will be in the description as well as where I get my Swarovski crystals that I've added on top of those beautiful dots this is gorgeous who wouldn't want this in any room of their house if they just want to feel Zen Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at how it shines like glass. Thank you so much. I love you all. You guys get two today. Lucky you. And uh, April 1st, coming up real fast. Love you.